Polly, stand still, my girl, stop! Oh, you nasty thing. Where are you going? This is ridiculous, come here. Oh, there's my annoying little one. Chill, 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 my darling. Oh, well, who are you barking at, huh? Who is it? All right, calm down, my girl, calm down. There's no reason to be upset. Oh, shush, shush, my goodness, where are you taking me? Oh, baby, chill, chill. Come on, all right, let's go, come on. I love, I believe, part one. Your bread is very good, Kirill. My wife says eating fresh bread is bad for your health. But I like fresh bread straight from the oven's mouth. Take some for your wife. Maybe she'll realize she's wrong. I've got to work the whole day long. It won't make it home. Did you sleep badly? I stayed up late watching football. You surprised me, guys, you know that? You haven't slept in years. I wouldn't be able to do that. You guys are robots or something. This is why we don't sleep, though. Everyone needs fresh bread. No one needs it stale. Right on. You're good. Why are you limping, Kirill? I rubbed my foot sore. Ah. Hello? Where are you guys? Breakfast is ready. Good morning, Mother. Morning. Hey, I'm home. Hello. Come and have breakfast. Oh, with pleasure. Good morning, everyone. Oh, Nikita, hello. Where are you going so early? He and the guys from the music college are filming their first video today. Nikita, I didn't know that. Why would I brag about it? It's just a video. All right, I'm off. Well, what about your breakfast? I don't want to eat so early. Of course you don't. What's up? Oh, hello. It's still hot. Why are you limping? I hurt my foot with those boots. I've been trying to break in. Been like a week and they're still stiff. Guess they were a waste of money. Well, don't wear them then. Wear the old ones. Enjoy your meal. Here you go. Thanks so much. Do you want more tea? Mm. You remember you have a class with the coach this evening? Yeah, I do, but... Mm. No, don't say but. That coach is actually very good. And he's the best tutor. He works with Moscow's elite. You'll get into the university this time for sure. By the way, about Moscow, maybe we should forget it. What do you mean? Forget it, why now? Well, I failed getting accepted the first time. Maybe it's not my thing. <sighs> what do you mean, not my thing? Moscow is another level of education. You understand? It's a prospect for you. What are you even saying? You sound like a joke. Dad, but I don't want to. What do you want? You want to spend your life working as a secretary? Mom. Can I decide for myself? I'm old enough for that now, aren't I? You'll decide for yourself when you graduate the university. That's not up for discussion, understand? I'm going to bed. You haven't eaten anything. I lost my appetite. Oh, they've given us so little money for the repair. I'm sitting here thinking, should I patch the roof or Let's do the roof. Such a nice roof. day today, roof. isn't it? What can we do? Hello. What's up, hey guys? guys? Hello, they're both. Oh, hello, Anna. Hello. Are you up to work? I'm off to work. What a nice girl oh, she is. And her husband is wonderful. The whole mm. family is good. A wonderful family, in fact. Three sparrows flew off a branch. What is the probability that in one minute all three sparrows will be on the same lane? Your answer, Kate? The probability is 100%. That's bullshit, suck up. Petrov, do you have a different answer? Not yet. 
Kate, come to the blackboard. Prove it, please. It doesn't matter where the sparrows will be in a minute's time. Mathematically, they are at three points. And you can lay a plane through any of the three points like this. Brilliant as usual. Excuse me, all. Don't get up. Don't get up. Anna, Kate's mother just called. It's urgent. Kate, my girl, you need to hurry home. What's happening? Hey, do you know where she's going? Where are they taking her? I wonder if we're gonna find All right, let's continue the lesson. Everyone, excuse me. Arkady Ivanovich. Oh, God, are you smoking? You know you can't do that. I'm sorry, I slipped up. What's going on here? Uh, it has something to do with Kate, right? You happen to remember Kate's sister? Olya? Well, of course, huh? Great student. What happened to her? She was found last night. Murdered. <gasps> Seems that the maniac's back. How terrible. Arcady, how is it possible? It's been a whole year since then. We've all just gotten over what happened last time. Don't tell anyone about this yet. We don't need panic on our hands. Oh, my goodness. I've seen them together only recently. Katya and Olya were walking so young and so happy. <laughs> You know what? Go to their house and ask them if we can help them. Although, how would we be able to help them? There's no way. But still, go and ask them, though. To be there is sometimes enough. I can hardly take it. My brain's on fire right now. Oh, Lord, what are these beasts you've created that live by your side and devour us? Anna, uh, they're not beasts, though. They're people. A kind of people. That is, oh, for heaven's sake, my heart. Do you need a doctor? Oh, oh, oh. no, 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 it'll pass. Mm. I have all the documents prepared. All right, I'll come today and show you everything, and we'll discuss it. I'd be more than happy to. <laughs> yeah, no, thank you. Right, take care now. Yes! Uh, Natasha, are you in your office? Yes. Uh, come to my office immediately, please, and bring the documents on landscaping. No problem. <laughs> well, hello there. Stop, you're gonna smear all my makeup. Oh, 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 I'm so very sorry, Natasha. Mm. We've got a new contract. <laughs> And I suggest we celebrate it. I'm thinking tonight. What do you say? No, I can't do it tonight. Why not? Well, because my mom hired a coach for me. <laughs> what coach? What are you talking about? Well... Hold on. You off to Moscow to apply to the university again? But you said... Well, that... I did, right. But my parents want me to get a degree. What can I really do about it? So you're going off to Moscow? And me? <sighs> My parents are my parents, but you, you're, uh... Who am I? Right. Who are you? Oh. I see now. You know, I actually agree. This roses and candy stage has been going on for far too long. Mm, yeah. Know what? How about you be my wife? Are you really serious? Well, I understand that it shouldn't be said here in the office, that there should be champagne and rose petals, but I'm sorry, this is how it turned out. So you want to? Yeah.
Ей второй Цоя, когда я спокоен и сдержан внутри, и я словно мастер Брюсли. А когда я подавлен в смутное время, я люблю слушать Курта Кофейна, влюбленный и тот по московской весне, и я словно пьяный селен. Nikita, oh, why were you staring at me like that? Did something happen? Quite the opposite. And you stared at me yesterday as well. Strelka, you did great. You couldn't do it yesterday, but today? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I rehearsed at home yesterday, late into oh, the night. The neighbors must have been happy. <laughs> Max, what? When will the video be ready? Oh, aren't you moving a little fast? Wait until the video is assembled and the sound is mixed. I don't do a hack job. I have principles. I don't want you to be ashamed of your first video when you're famous. <laughs> wow, we're gonna be famous? Mm -hmm. You bet. Look, let's go somewhere and celebrate. It'll be my treat. Nah, man, I've got other plans today, don't I? Yeah, I'm really busy tonight, mm -hmm. too. Let's go. Okay, guys. All right, you're off the Bye, hook. guys. Bye now. Take care. See you later, man. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, hey, Daddy. Why aren't you asleep? Did I wake you up? I slept enough. Why aren't you at work? What's your passport for? Uh, they sent me home to get the passport. I really don't know why, though. All right, stop. Hold on a second, will you? Tell me something, sweetheart. Are you in love with the owner of your company? What's his name, Arthur? Arthur? Arthur. Is he the reason you don't want to study? Why would you think that? Anyway, tell me. Yes or no? I'm your father. I need to know. Well, I can have a personal life, right? You're just used to controlling everything all the time. That's right. I'm used to controlling because I'm your father. You're my daughter. We're yes, family. Sure. Yes, 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 yes. You are my father, and I am your daughter. We are family. And later tonight, we'll sit down together, you, me, and Mom, and I'll tell you everything, okay? Natasha. Right now, I'm in a hurry. I love you so much, Dad. At any rate, this month will go by fast. Right, we have to tell both our parents somehow. My father asked me and I straight up lied to him. Well, let's visit them together and tell them everything. I can finally meet them. No, you're gonna have to let me do it first. Well, you know best. But we'll visit my father together, all right? All right. Mm. 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, Oh, you went to the last showing with a friend. She kissed me goodbye in the hall. And I'm her mother. You know? I should have known. I'm her mother. Some alarm should have gone off. Daria, stop it. Daria, don't blame yourself. It's not your fault. Um... So, Katya locked herself in her room, and she wouldn't come out. She just needs to cry it out. She needs to realize somehow that... Wait. How is it possible to realize it? I was at the identification. I saw my daughter's body. Do you understand? She was raped and killed with a knife to her heart. What's to realize? Fedor, I can't take it. I understand how hard it is for you. Do you? Look, I know that you have a daughter, too. I know you do. And if, God forbid, if something like that ever happens to her, then maybe you'll understand. Until then, I don't think that you what will ever understand. What in the world are you saying, Fedor? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I... I shouldn't have... Oh, God, thank you. Thank you for coming. Don't apologize. Yeah. Can I help you in any way possible? Uh, 
I want to find this monster and and punish him with my my own bare hands. I'll punish him. You'll see the devil in me. Will Will you help me? Well, all your remarks are true. I get that. We'll deal with it. Yeah, thanks for informing me. Thanks again. Hey, Dad, have you forgotten about us? I'm sorry. It was from the governor concerning... All right, it doesn't really matter. I'm sorry, you guys. I apologize. Natasha, right? Yes, Natasha. Well, nice to meet you. Well, then, marriage is a serious business. When is the wedding? Have you set a date yet? In... In a... <laughs> In a month, sir. That's great. All right, we should get ready then. This event is serious. We need to conduct it properly. It would be nice if I could uh, meet your parents in, well, uh, proper fashion, my dear. I haven't met them yet either, Dad. Oh, really? <laughs> oh. Well, how about tomorrow morning at a dacha? It's uh, Saturday, after all. Mm -hmm. That sound good? Mm -hmm. I'll pickle some meat, too. Do this right. Think your parents will be able to make it? Well, yeah, I think they can, yeah. Oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> wonderful. So you saw this man on the bank of the pond, was it? Yeah, that was it. First, Polly started barking at him, and then I saw... Mrs. Boyko, stop referring to your dog. Your dog won't be able to testify in court. Can you describe who you saw? It was dark, but I remembered him. He was a... A tall man, a strong-looking one. Not an old one, but not a teenager, either. So now, what else? He was wearing blue jeans, a, a lumberjack shirt, and a dark vest. And the face, was it of the Slavic type? I didn't see his face. I only saw the back of his head. <sighs> it's very unfortunate that you didn't see his face. But he had a prominent physical characteristic. He was lame. He was lame. Right there in his left leg. So is your leg hurting badly? It's doing just fine. Come on, eat. Pop. Huh? How exactly did you court my mom? Are you in love? Why would I be in love? I'm just asking you. How did I court her? How did everyone do it back then? Flowers, no? Cinema? An ice cream parlor? I didn't sing serenades. You're a musician. You could sing some. Are you kidding me? Why would I be kidding you? Girls like it. Do you understand? Although I guess I win your mom over. With something else. With what? Well, with seriousness, perhaps. With security, son. Oh, here's your mom. Hey there. What's going on? That maniac's back in town. <laughs> I literally jumped up in the air when I heard it on the radio. A murder it's again. It's dangerous to live here. I have an idea. We should organize teams of male volunteers and let them patrol the town at night. Oh, what are you saying? The authorities will take care of that? Why are we paying taxes? That's right. Are you sure you want to go alone? Yeah, it's all right. I'll manage. Well, goodbye. Hey, what about a kiss? I don't want to. They're all looking. Mm. So what? Here it goes. Hello, Good Natasha. Who's that solid man giving you a ride over there? You'll find out soon enough. <sighs> That's how we live. Some grieve while others smile. <laughs> I know that park. 
I go to work through it every day. There's only half-lit poles there. It's not about the park. Two years ago, spring, they found a woman murdered near the plant. Last autumn, one on the boulevard. They say the M.O. is the same. They call it a quiet town. We need to warn Natasha so she won't go anywhere at night. So that she won't what? Did you go to the coach? I didn't. But why? He was waiting for you. Mom, Dad, I've got important news to give you. Are you ready? Well then. I'm getting married. The CEO of my company, Arthur, proposed to me, and I said yes, and we've already applied to the registry office. Well, I'm not seeing happiness here. So that's why you needed your passport this morning. Why did you lie to me, sweetheart? Well, I just wasn't ready for the talk, but we've been dating for a long time. It's very serious between us. We love each other, Mom. He's wonderful. You'll like him so much. Why didn't he come over and meet us? It'd be appropriate, I believe. That's because his father is officially inviting us tomorrow to his dasha in order to get acquainted with him. <laughs> I'm not going. Papa. The problem is I hate it when I'm pinned down to facts, you understand? Well, you can go, of course. Dad, come on now. How can we go without you? Natasha, don't follow. Wait for me, okay? <sighs> anyway, here's how it is, Stroka. Don't walk in the streets alone at night. Call me if you need something. I'll walk I'm not through. going anywhere now anyway. Mom says I should be home before dark. But what about rehearsals? I guess we're gonna have to skip college. Stroka. What do you want? It's nothing. You look stunned. Did something happen? You all right there? Yeah, no, I'm all right. Okay, bye. You know me. I'm not a tyrant. I'm not a man of old-fashioned morals. I've always tried to be humane. I've always wanted the best for her. But she, she deceived me. You understand? She's my daughter. I agree with you. And now this marriage. It's too early for her to get married now. We've been telling her all her life that education has to come first. It has to come first. Everything else comes after. Yeah. But maybe she could get her education by a correspondence course. What education can she get now? What can she study? I can see it. She's already pregnant. Why are you starting about that? Arthur. Carol. Settle down, my dear. We need to find out everything first. Find it out, then. I need to go to work. Of course, darling. Natasha. Look, look. Nikita, Arthur proposed to me. What the hell? You're a rich boy, right? What do mom and dad think? I'm just trying to figure it out. We'll go home right now. I'll treat you to your favorite goodies, my girl. You're my sweet little angel. Good evening. Good evening to you, sir. He thinks I'm pregnant? Mom, how could you even think that's true? Oh, to be honest, it was the first idea to come to your dad's head. It would come to dad's mind, yeah. But you? Come on, I'm just marrying a man that I love. What's he like? He's simply the best, and and I think he loves me very much. <laughs> Natasha, I can't tell you how happy I am for Aww. you. 
Oh, mommy, mommy, thank you. Thank you for being by my side, for supporting me. It's only such a pity that Dad is. Oh, no. Dad supports you. Don't think otherwise. And don't you worry. Tomorrow, everything's going to fall right into place. Today's been a tough day. First this murder, then the... What murder is that? Don't worry about a thing, Carol. All young folks are like that now. Take my niece, for example. She found a boyfriend at 17 and gave birth when she was just 18. She totally forgot her family. Now she lives in another town and only calls my sister on holidays or when she needs money. What's good about that? No, that's wrong. The family's above everything. For them, what they want is above everything. Although I have to say, I didn't expect that from Natasha. What did you decide? Will you go to meet him? What could I do? She's all I have. Listen, I had a situation with Anton. I need to go for a walk. Where to? Nowhere, for air. Hmm. Bastard. Don't think I won't bring you out into the open. Of course, come on, like that. I'll do it like this. Oh, Natasha, I don't know. Isn't it too bright? Maybe I should wear something monochromatic. We're meeting the deputy mayor, right? Mom, you look wonderful, and he's a normal man. He's not pompous. Nikita, are you really going dressed like that? I'm not going anywhere. They just called me to an impromptu rehearsal. Uh, Bye now. Uh, oh, that's great. Nikita's not coming, Dad's not here, we'll be the only ones there. No, there's no way it's just gonna be us. Fine. I'm gonna give him a call. So tell me, who's this Natasha? She's my only daughter. Actually, we've got an important event today. We're supposed to go and meet the groom's parents. You're keeping me here without explaining anything. You're not letting me speak to my child there. In fact, anything could be going on with her. Let's do as follows. I'll let you answer. You'll say everything's all right. You're just late at work. Is that a deal? It's a deal. Hello, Natasha. Yes, hello. Um, listen, I've got an emergency here at work. You go and I'll come later if I manage to get out of here. It's good, it's okay, it's fine. I'm sorry it played out like this. Goodbye now. Can I have that back? Of course. All right, let me repeat myself once again. Where were you on the night of April 13th of last year? Well, if it wasn't Saturday, the bakery. You answer so confidently, it was a long time ago. Well, I spend every night in there. I only have one free day, Saturday. Uh-huh. I supply bread to catering facilities. Uh, they don't need bread on Sundays. Uh, and who saw you there? My partner, Anton. You arrested him. When you arrested me. So you were in the bakery on Thursday, September 25th, sometime that evening? Certainly would have been. Well, what about two nights ago? I was in the bakery. Anton saw me. I see. Tell me, Belyev, did you leave the bakery for any reason that you can think of? <sighs> hold on, hold on. Are you thinking I'm responsible for all those murders? Are you serious? Oh, no way.
Listen, I'm very pleased to meet you, Anna. I'm very pleased. The pleasure is mine. It's a pity there's no head of the family. Valerie, I'm sorry. It just happened so unexpectedly for us. My husband couldn't adjust his schedule. I understand that. Work is work. Well, I'm very hopeful that he'll join us later. I'm like that too, at work. I forget about everything. <laughs> I've ignored Arthur. I raised him without his mother. Anyway, take it as it is. I've only got what I raised, right? I did my best, my best was bad. <laughs> oh, come on, Dad. You're gonna give him a bad impression. No, he's actually a great guy. He's a self-made man. Well, almost. So what are you waiting for? Do it! Do what, Dad? Hmm? What's going on? Well, thank you. I was actually waiting for a more convenient moment. It's the most convenient moment. Natasha, I've got a present for you, my dear. This right here was delivered by plane from Amsterdam this morning. <gasps> it's so beautiful. <laughs> and now it's real. It must be very expensive. It doesn't matter. Get used to it. Thank you. <laughs> All right, you guys. Go for a walk. Anna and I have to discuss it's some... So beautiful. Some of the details. It's important. With only a month before the event and all, if we fail you both, people won't understand us. Dad, but the wedding isn't for someone, it's for us, right? Well, that's what you think, son. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> ah. Well, Anton, I can see that you and Kirill are normal guys. There's some misunderstanding. Well, yeah. Let's talk without the protocol, and you'll go home in no time. Yes, it's fine with me. I'd really like to get home soon. Hello, sir. How get are you? Get the hell out of here. You and Kirill work at the bakery by yourselves? We do. Uh, we don't need extra people. How long is the work day? You mean work night. We start at 10 p.m. and finish at 7 a.m. Why are you asking, though? I'm wondering how the bakery works. It's actually very simple. Kirill is a technologist. He's responsible for all the I dough. I see. Then we fill the molds and put them in the oven. After that, I make sure the bread is baked and not burned. We unload the first batch and load the second one, and we keep going over and over again until morning. Ah, uh, what does Kirill do while you watch? The bread baking like that? Well, different things. He can sleep or go for a walk. He and I sometimes go out to breathe the air. It's stuffy in the bakery. So I see. Do you leave the bakery for a long time like Not this? Not that long, though. 30, 40 minutes. Kirill go out yesterday? Yes, I think he did. I see. All right, let's go. I'll write your statement down quickly. Sign it, and you'll be free to go. But you said there'd Come on, be let's no go. protocol. Sign it and go home. Huh? Uh, you mean that? Uh-huh. <laughs> well, not bad, guys. Not bad. Get ready. You're going to be performing on stage at a rock club. Yeah! Oh! Can you really play for an hour? That's not even a question. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's discuss the terms then. The first time you'll work for free. Then, if people like you, we'll talk about a contract. But I have to warn you, the money isn't big. Money isn't the main thing. That's the right approach. You know, I always knew that I'd become a rock star. Roma, you need to be more modest. You just keep rehearsing. If you screw this gig up, you might not get another one. That's how the business is. Max, we won't screw it up, I guarantee it. Everything will be fine, hmm? Hmm? <laughs> Bye, everyone. I've got to go. Goodbye. What's up? No idea, babe. Listen to me, Boyko. Have you seen any of these people here? This one, I think. You monster. Come on, Boyko. You've got all the police on their feet with your irresponsible claims, and now you uh, say it might be him? Uh, can he turn his back on me and walk a little? I need to see him in motion. That's how I saw him last night. Number four, turn around for me. Want me to dance, too? You'll dance if I need you to. Just do as you're told. That's the one. That's him. What were the circumstances when you saw him? 
The night before yesterday, Polly and I were walking in the park, and I saw him on the shore of the pond. He was wearing blue jeans and a lumberjack shirt. And the main thing is that Polly started barking at him. You see, Polly's a well-brought-up girl. She doesn't just bark at anyone. And then we saw him again in the park, and that's when the dog I started- I told you, enough with the dog. What else did you find near the pond? The body of a girl in a red dress. These are lies. Our mistake. I wasn't there. First, we'll rent a big boat for the closest one. Uh, not more than 60 people. At night, we'll book a restaurant for about 300. Oh, the scale of this is too large. Yeah, don't worry. I will pay for everything. My only son is getting married, after all. Oh, no. Our family has money as well. I'm sorry. I really didn't mean to offend you. Watch the barbecue, please. I'll answer the phone. And then we'll decide where to send them on their honeymoon, if they've even considered it. Yes. Aha. Uh Aha. -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. All right. That should work. Hero, finally. Why weren't you picking up? What? Who is this? Listen, I just hate those toasts and all those silly traditions to abide by. Do you want to know what my strongest desire is at the wedding? What is it? To kill the toast maker. No, don't do it. I don't want to be your wife over. I'll try to keep the... Uh... Mom, where are you going? Natasha, I need to go to the city right now. Go to the dacha, guys. The barbecue may be ready. Is there some sort of problem, man? Is it the school? Yeah. It's the school. Don't worry about it. It's nothing serious. Hello, musician. What's up, Zika? How's Natasha been doing? I haven't seen her lately. You won't see her much anymore. She's about to get herself married. No kidding. Who's the groom? A decent guy in this world, unlike some people. Hey, are you implying that we're not? Sit down, Suri. Why, dude? Because he and I grew up in the same yard. That's just nonsense. My husband's not a murderer or a rapist. We've been together 20 years. Do you understand what that would mean? I know him better than myself. Don't you think I would have noticed something Unfortunately, wrong? Unfortunately, Anna, these situations happen quite often. Chikatilo's wife also lived with her husband for a long time without knowing what anything. What are you even saying? Goodness. I don't believe you. This is just absurd. You simply arrested the first man that you found, and by the way, I'm going to file a complaint. I understand your emotions, but we don't arrest anyone for no reason. We've got a witness, and she identified your husband. A witness? That's what right. witness? What is this nonsense? This is, this is just a terrible mistake. Yes, it may be a mistake. However, if we have someone of interest, we need to check on it. Help us, Anna, so we can help you. What could you even want from me? Well, first of all, I want you to answer my questions calmly and reasonably. Now, can you do that? After that, we'll search the bakery and your apartment. I need to see Carol now. Unfortunately, that is impossible. But I can promise you that you will be able to see him in the near future. Sit down, please. Make this easier. Ask me whatever you want to. I have nothing at all to hide. This is a strange gathering, to be very honest. Bride's father didn't come and her mother ran away. The main thing is that the bride is here. I'm sorry, I should have warned them earlier about the occasion. That's all right. We all depend on the circumstances, and circumstances appear to be stronger than us. Excuse me. Yeah. Dima. Is that true? My congratulations. Send my gratitude to the guys. Yeah, thank you for informing me. <laughs> What's that about, Dad? <sighs> Great news, everyone. They arrested that maniac who murdered those three girls. It appears he's a local citizen. His last name is Believ, by the way. <laughs> yeah, that's gotta be bad luck one way or the other. Anya! 
Anya! What's going on here? Don't touch me. What exactly are these accusations against Kirill? Stop talking for crying Excuse out loud. Excuse me, but no. I'm responsible for the house. And the Belyaevs have lived here for many years. And Kirill is a very nice man, understand? I'm ready to give any character testimony. And I'll sign Listen, right people. On. Me too. You are obstructing our investigation. You can be convicted of an offense here. All right, I'll shut up. Anya, you know that I'm with you no matter what, girl. Look, mm -hmm. all right, lady. When did you wash these jeans? Huh? What? All right, well, our experts will determine that. Where's the lumberjack shirt, huh? I have no idea. <sighs> well, it looks like you don't know a lot about your husband. Don't worry, dear. Shh. I doubt it, Comrade Colonel. What do we have against Believ? Only Boyko's testimony. But she saw him at night from behind, but there is the limp, too. Where did Believ go from the bakery? Theoretically, he could make it to the park and back, but that's only a guess. We didn't find anything suspicious during the search. What are you suggesting? To let him go? I'd let him go, Comrade Colonel. But they'll all laugh at us. Are you out of your mind? Didn't we get enough bashing for these murders before? Now we have a witness. And Believ has no alibi for the time of the crimes. Everything is in place. Get the arresting papers prepared. I want swift justice here. If you don't have enough watertight evidence, then find some. Of course, Comrade Colonel. Mom, did someone break in here or what? Mother. Mother, where's Daddy? Papa... is accused of some terrible crimes. But he did not commit them. This is all a horrible, horrible mistake. But everything will be resolved soon. What's he accused of? He's accused of being the maniac murderer. Haven't hung yourself yet, Belyaev? It would be better for everyone. Get out, murderer. The lawyer's here for you. Come on, come on, move. Come on, faster. Why aren't you limping anymore? The leg healed. Uh-huh. So listen, last night, some bastard trampled over all the flowers in a flower bed. I reported it, but they said, there's a maniac in town, and you're coming up to me with this stuff. Bozikin. Mm-hmm. That's a police officer for you. Oh, yeah. Hello. Hello, Anna. How's Carol? Have you seen him? No, they won't let me. They say it's forbidden. I've got a package for him. Maybe they'll let me see him. Anna, what is he accused of, though? Sorry, but I can't... I can't really talk about it. Open investigation. That there is a poor woman. What a wonderful family, huh? Mm. Kiro's the politest yeah. man. Yeah. Wonder why they arrested him. Nobody knows. Everyone's surprised. Mm -hmm. I can calm the citizens of our fine town. We've managed to arrest the man who's suspected of these murders. These three violent murders. And we have all the evidence we need to think that this is the correct suspect. I can't disclose his name before the investigation is over. I can only say that he is a citizen of our sleepy little town. He's also totally sane as well. But this is the essence of all manic murders. They live among us and they go unrecognized. They have families. Turn it off. Turn it However, off immediately. However, it can't go on forever. Anna, we've heard your husband is in trouble. Were they talking about him now? You should understand we work with kids. Parents are already calling me, and they're very worried. And I don't know enough about this to quell any of their concerns. My husband is actually accused of these crimes, but you understand that this is all nonsense. Kirill didn't do anything at all, do you hear? Some woman has just vilified him. That's just absurd. 
We know Kirill, a fine man. This is nonsense, just nonsense. They always work like this, hiding in the shadows. Last year, someone stole my brother's car and hit an old lady. And the thing was, do you think they ran to look for those thieves? Not at all. They grilled him. Were you driving the car? Confess, or we will hold you. Oh, stop. Don't despair. The truth will always triumph. It's how the world works, my dear. Anna, what can we do for you? We're behind you 100%. I don't even know. Thank you all for your support. Mm. Is this some kind of black humor? It's not April Fool's, is it? I'm not joking. I'm sorry, Natasha. It's just hard for me to believe that my future father-in-law and your father is the maniac murderer. Don't call him that, please. You don't know him at all. He's not him. Natasha, calm down. You're right. We didn't have time to meet each other. But I'm sure that your father can't be some... Oh, Arthur, what do we do? First, we need to hire a good lawyer for your dad. Mom's already hired a lawyer for him. That's perfect. Second, we're going to my father now. He's got good connections with law enforcement, some leverage, so to speak. They're going to lose their confidence. <laughs> Natasha, just don't worry, okay? We'll fix everything, I guarantee it. Do you promise? I promise. Everything is gonna be fine. Just calm down, all right? <laughs> Strelka, I don't get it. Did you follow me? Because I think that that's Why just... would I follow you? Actually, Elvira uploaded the photos. She's so dumb. We broke up only yesterday, late last night. Did you go straight over to her house? Well, I certainly did, yeah. Strelka. Strelko, we've been dating for such a short time and you're already claiming me as your own? I totally find that a bit disheartening. Actually, I'm for free love, babe. What for? Well, a real rock star should have a lot of groupies now, shouldn't he? Idiot. Nikita, why are you so late again? We're playing a gig tomorrow. Are we skipping college for no reason or what? Why are you grumbling? I'm here, we're rehearsing. What's with the attitude? I'm not grumbling. Thing is, you're not behaving like a professional. Everybody has to wait for you. Do you remember what Max said? It could be a long time before a second chance like this comes by. <laughs> What's going on with you, man? Nothing is going on with me. Can't a guy stumble over something? Nikita, are you actually all right? I'm more than fine, everyone. So, any more questions? Let's rehearse already. Let's rehearse. In the triangle A, B, C, angle A is three times longer than angle B and twice as short as angle C. What is the value of angle A? Any ideas, Petra? What shall we take as X? Tell us, Kate. Anna, is it true that your husband has murdered my sister, Olya? Katya, who told you that? It doesn't matter. Just tell me, yes or no. No, of course not. <laughs> Look at that. Kate's lost her damn mind. Katya! Katya! Katya, hold on. What could you possibly want, Anna? Katya, you're a grown person now, and you're fully able to understand. That a wife doesn't have to answer for her husband? I understand. So what then? No, no, forget that. Katya, I know how much you loved your sister. What if somebody told you that you didn't know her at all? That she was actually evil, mean, and lying? Would you believe that? Would you believe any of that? No, of course not. Now you get it. Kirill and I have lived 20 years in perfect harmony. No one knows him better than I do. And if I say that he is nice and kind, there is no one that could make me think the opposite. However, he has been arrested. Kate. People make mistakes, you know. And police are people too. I can assure you, Kirill didn't kill anyone, hun. Can you, in your heart, believe me? Yes. 
Anna, we're burying Olya. The funeral is going to be tomorrow. Would you come and say your goodbyes to her, please? Of course I'll be there. So he's your father, not just a last name in common. My father is a wonderful man. He got arrested by mistake. Why would they do that? Dad, you know how our law enforcement agencies work. They take the first one they find, then it's very hard to prove anything otherwise. Arthur, this is no monkey business. This is a very serious case to this community. No one's going to risk letting him go if they're not sure. So you believe it too, then? <laughs> it's my fault. I thought you would help. Natasha, I believe we need to figure it all out from the beginning. And only after that will act. Deal with it, then. I'll deal with it, son. Well, then do it today, Dad. I will do everything that I can. Get going. Don't do anything stupid. Hello. You don't have to worry, Anna. Please, I got this. Do, do you remember the tale of the three little pigs? Excuse uh, me? Well, the big bad wolf and the three little pigs. I do, Alexi, uh, why? Uh, well, that's it. Uh, when the wolf blew at the first pig's house, it fell apart. When he blew at the second pig's house three times, it fell apart. But however much the wolf was blowing at the third one's house... Why are you telling me any of this? Uh, this is an allegory. <laughs> you see, the houses of the little pigs are criminal cases. And I'm the wolf. Understand? Mm hmm How many times will you need to blow at this case? Oh, just once. <laughs> yeah. And it will fall apart? Oh, undoubtedly. You see, all the accusation is built on testimony from that woman. They don't have anything else. They must either let Kirill go or apply to court with this case. But let them apply. We'll remind them of all their violations in the proceeding. What court? I don't even want to hear about it. Do something. I don't know. Take Kirill's... DNA sample and let them understand that he's not the one that they're looking for. They have nothing to compare it to. The maniac didn't leave any visible evidence of the crime. Well, there must be some evidence with a good approach, but we don't have such specialists in our district. Moreover, I have to tell you frankly, Anna, listen. It would be unrealistic to demand the release of Carol. They've already announced it all around that they have a suspect. This is where we're at, I'm afraid. What do I do then? Sit still and just wait? That's exactly right. Time is working for us right now. They don't even let me see Carol at all. The investigator promised me, but... Anna, believe me, I am doing everything that I can that depends on me. Yeah, you played absolutely terribly today. Everybody has their bad days sometimes. What happened to you then? Nothing at all. Stralka, if you're worried about the concert, it's cool. Tell your Roma that I won't screw it up. Hmm, my Roma, huh? Nikita. What do you think about this free love? What do you mean? This is just a theoretical question. Well, I don't know. I guess I wouldn't be able to do it. I'm not like that, really. So I see. Listen, why don't we go to the movies tonight? The hmm? movies? Won't your Roma be against it? Belyaev, I'm just inviting you myself. What does Roma have to do with it? Thanks a lot. Oh, hello, Auntie Sveta. Uh, why are you scaring me? Anna, tell me something, please. Did you know? Don't lie to me now. About what? What is it? Don't pretend. You know what I mean. I'm talking about your maniac husband. Auntie Sveta, who told you that nonsense? Mm, my son told me. He heard it from somebody else. What's the difference? Anna, I know everything. I know that Kirill left walking at night. I, I know that the witness identified him. Don't side away. Tell me right now. Did you know it? Or didn't you? Auntie Sveta, we've been living on the same floor for many years. We've been friends for so long. Is Kirill anything like a maniac? How could you possibly even think that? Uh, who cares anymore? You don't have to tell me about it. I lived with my first husband for 10 years, know what? He was also normal for so long. Then it turned out he was a schizophrenic. You know what, Auntie Sveta? You can go to hell. Oh. In 
In short, the investigation acknowledges that they don't have direct proof of Belyev's guilt. They only have it indirectly. But they're holding on really hard to them. First, because the regional authorities are pushing. Second, because they're sure. Sure about what, exactly? Sure that Belyev is actually the maniac. Look, Dad, put the heat on them. You understand that it's nonsense. Kirill Belyev is not guilty. So what if he's not guilty? Listen to me. Let's say I put the heat on them, yeah? And they'll let him out. The rumor will spread across the town that this is why they released him. It would even be worse for him, in fact. I think we should wait for the investigation to end, son. Yeah, but how long will that take? I don't know. He'll sit until they prove that he is the maniac or find someone. Someone else to play the part. It's what they do. Arthur, maybe it would be better to put the wedding off until winter. No way. No, out of the question. That's foolish. The bride's father is in prison. What will people say? I don't really give a damn. I might have troubles at work, you know, son. I don't give me that. I'll put it to you like this. Your firm only exists thanks to municipal orders, insured by me, understand? Are you ready to lose them? I can provide all the orders I need myself. Take the latest contract, for example. I found it myself. I persuaded Nikolai Nikolovich. Yeah, sorry, I didn't want to tell you, but it was me who persuaded Nikolai Nikolovich. Arthur, I'm not insisting on anything. I just want you to think properly about it so that you won't regret anything later. It'd be better to postpone the wedding or even... <sighs> Don't look at me like that. The choice is yours anyway. I'll see you tomorrow. Mom's already worried. Thank you for walking me. What about kissing me? Say what? Are you out of your mind? Get that out of your head. We're friends, is that clear? It's clear. Someone's waiting for you over there. Uh, hello there. We were at the movies, then we went for a walk. What are you doing here? For a walk, huh? Without me. Well, you're busy with Elvira. <laughs> Nikita. Why haven't you told us anything about your father? What's with his father? Didn't he tell you? The entire city knows already. Nikita's father is accused of rape and murder. Um, He's what? Um, uh, guys, that's just a bunch of lies. All right, forget it then. Nikita, tell me though, will you be able to perform? Of course, I'm just fine. That's fine then. <sighs> I found it in the mailbox. There's no stamp on the envelope. So they got in the lobby somehow. Mom, please don't. Don't be sad about it. Some idiots wrote it. It's really nothing to worry about. <sighs> That's rather clear. But we'll have to inform the lawyer anyway. It's so strange. Rumors spread around so quickly. One day, and the entire town knows. <sighs> Anton? Guess I'm... I'm nothing but a bastard. It was me who helped them lock Kirill up. Sorry? Arrest him, is what I meant. Anton, what exactly are you saying? Anna, I, I don't know how it happened. That investigator, he's a sly devil. He asked me whether Kirill went out that night to get some fresh air. <laughs> and I foolishly said, yes, he did. It's hot in the bakery. And uh, I didn't know they were fabricating, I mean, accusing him of these terrible crimes. <clears throat> Anton, don't blame yourself. 
You didn't know. Anna, thanks for not sending me away. If you sent me away, I wouldn't have known how to keep on living. You know, guys, you can always count on me, always, and in everything. Marina decided to leave the kiosk. She'll go to Sergovich's warehouse to work <laughs> as a keeper. Uh, I don't know what's wrong with the kiosk. She used to make good coin there. Oh, hello, beautiful. Hey there. Come and join us. I'm hurrying off to work, and I'm actually already running... Come on, I know you're getting married already. It's cool. But that's not a reason for not talking to an old acquaintance. Is that right? <laughs> what are you and I going to talk about then? Well, I don't know about, uh... Kirill, for example? Have you been able to visit him? They won't allow us to visit him. I get that. Well, as soon as you make it there, tell him not to spew his guts. Never and under no circumstances, you hear me? Do you understand? He has nothing to spew his guts about. Do you understand? I understand, Natasha. It's just that they can press really hard. Secondly, if they send your father to prison, don't worry, people can live there. Although not with these charges. <laughs> Idiots. <laughs> What are you doing? It was a joke. Shut your mouth, you clown. Good morning. Anna, listen. I've written a petition. I think I mentioned everything. Good morning. Good, Good morning. morning. I wrote that you're an honored teacher, that Kirill helped the school in many ways. Look, everybody signed it. Thank you, Arkady Ivanovich. Morning. Listen. Good morning. Good morning. You have a lot going on now. Perhaps I should release you from your classes. Good Don't morning. worry about me. I think I'll manage just fine. I know that. I know that Good you're morning. strong. Good morning. Good morning, Aleftina. So you're saying everybody signed the petition, Almost is that right? Almost everybody. Anna, don't pay attention to her. Hello. Hello. People are people. Don't let them dissuade you. Nina, what's up? Good morning. Can I have the documents on the landscaping? Earth to Nina, can you hear me? Thank God they arrested the maniac. The question is what to do with his family. What do you mean? Well, I think the family knew everything and should be held responsible as well. Lynchman, that's it. <laughs> Nikita! What if they're the ones who sent us a letter? Come on, these are just drunks. They don't even remember their ABCs. Yeah, would you be calm? Nikita, I don't know. But you need to calm down is all. We have a gig today, right? Calm down. Come back to your senses. Arthur, I can't take it anymore. Everybody's looking at me, and I don't know how much longer I can take it. How are they looking at you? How? As if I'm a maniac's daughter. Natasha, don't exaggerate. <laughs> Who looks at you Everyone, like that? including Nina. She just threw a folder at me like I'm nobody. Natasha, don't get crazy. She's just not in the mood. It happens. Arthur! Natasha, let's do it without hysteria, all right? Arthur, your daddy promised to help. It's been a whole day, and he's not calling. Please, let's hurry him along. He has to help. He doesn't need to be hurried. If he said he'll deal with it, then he'll deal with it. It's okay. It's okay. All right? My daughter. Daria. Daria. Drink it. My daughter. Settle down. Pour some of that, will you? My daughter, forgive me for everything. Calm down, Daria. Daria, it's time to go. The bus is waiting. Hello there, Mrs. Anna. Thank you for coming. Oh, don't thank me. Why the hell are you here? I invited Mrs. Anna. Oh, you loved her. She would want her here. Uh, oh, you silly girl. You don't have brains at all. Her husband killed your sister, and you want to invite her here? Dad, it could be someone else. How do you know? Even if it was him, what does Anna have to do with any of it? Why are you saying that? If you want me to leave, I will. I want to. I demand it. How dare you? Listen, don't make me do something <laughs> terrible. Go away from here right the hell now. I don't want to see your face. Get Dad, the hell out of this town, woman, please! Dad. Daddy. Listen to me. You think she came to say goodbye to dear old Yeah, She was only thinking how to get her maniac husband out of jail as soon as possible. Get on the bus, sweetheart. Go on. Anna, I'm, I'm so sorry. That's all right, Kathy, I... dear. That's all right. I think I really should go anyway. But I'll tell you. 
Very soon you'll understand that you are absolutely, positively wrong about Kirill, and then you'll feel ashamed. Get out of here. Fedor. Get out of here! Dad! I said get the hell out! Fedor, it's time to go. Don't. Fedor, come on. Turn around. Come Dad! On. Let's go now. Go away, I said. Thus, the expertise has established the composition of soil on Believe's boots, which were withdrawn during the search, is entirely identical to the composition of soil from the crime scene. So, what would you say about that? I'd say that it fully corresponds to the testimony that my client willingly provided. Carol goes to work through this park every day. Of course there would be soil. Study it yourself. Carol, read that, please. Humor the man. In the meantime, you yourself can read this. And what the hell is this? This is the letter that Kirill's wife found in her mailbox only recently. I believe that Belyaev's family is in danger. Oh, come on. What danger? Yeah, in danger. The investigation is directly responsible. You let this information leak on purpose in order to influence Kirill in this way. I've seen it done before. Well, there was no leak from my side, I assure you. Concerning the letter, we'll look into it. Yes, you really should. I demand protection for my family. I demand a meeting with my wife. Unfortunately, at the moment, we have no possibility to ensure the safety of your family. Moreover, I don't see a serious reason to. Anyone can write anything. You don't what? <laughs> calm down, Kirill, calm down, calm down, calm down. Uh, by the way, you offered Kirill a meeting with his wife. Am I correct in saying so? I believe that a meeting can only harm the investigation at the moment. Get them out. Damn, it's a half hour before the gig. Where the hell's Max? Call him again, screw it. I've called him a million times already. He's not picking up. Hello, Max. Hello, yeah. Thank God. All right, let's go. We're not going anywhere. The gig is canceled. Why is that? The director of the club refused. He said that he understands that a son shouldn't answer for his father, but he doesn't want to be responsible for the unpredictable reaction of the audience. We had an argument, but he won't change his mind. I understand him in a way. Ah, damn it. It was all going so well, too. Roma, stop it. I guess I have to apologize now, right? I'm sorry for being a Belia of my friends. I didn't ask you to apologize. I saw how you exchanged looks. But Nikita... Go to hell. Bye-bye. <laughs> Nikita! Leave him alone. Can't you see he's lost it? Max, what do we all do now? Well, what can you do? Your music is really good, guys. And people like you. Try to find a new bass player, hmm? She's here with her boyfriend there. Uh-huh. Let's say goodbye, shall we? Would you come for dinner? Mom would be very happy. Honey, I've explained it already. I have a big business meeting tomorrow. Say hello to your mom for me and hold tight a, a little while longer. All right, then. Call me if there's any news from your father. Mm -hmm. I'll be sure to. I don't understand why you even went to that funeral. You should talk to less people. Spare yourself the witch hunt. I never even thought that he could ever possibly be able to behave like that. 
In any case, I disagree that we should hide in a hole and just stay inside. We should behave as if nothing happened. Mom, when I hear what people say about us, I can't hold back. I want to answer them. I want to defend our family. Did something happen to you at work? No, nothing happened. How's the collective? The collective is good. People are nice and responsive. Especially Nina. She's just charming, you know? So charming. Natasha, are you kidding, or is this true? It's true, Mom. It is true. Well, you see, there are so many good people in the world. Believe me. And you're telling me to stay away from people? Good people, sure. We rehearsed for so long, and they simply canceled the concert. That's your good people for you. Nikita. I'm sick of all of it. You've really upset me now. You know that every enough. Superiors call me every day. They wonder when we are going to close the book of the Maniac's case, and you're saying you have nothing new. I'm working on a comrade, Colonel. You're working poorly, then. I'm doing my best. Where can I find evidence if there isn't any? <sighs> there just has to be some evidence. Belyaev is just hiding it, but you are fully able to make him talk, and I want him to talk right now. How? Why are you playing naive with me? Do I have to teach you on top of everything? I thought these are different times, Comrade Colonel. Very enough. He's just a maniac, a murderer. I'm not saying that you should fabricate the evidence. Just put some pressure on him, with reasonable limits. Do you understand? Of course, sir. Now that's better. You've been acting like a woman. Always keep me informed. I don't understand, Arcady. Why do we need to invent something new? We conduct this festival of school art every year. The script is polished. No one even complains. <laughs> Dear Alevtina Yurievna, you need to understand something. Let me tell you, kids are different today. They need something creative. Let's fantasize. Let's think of something, something outside the box, something that'll just pop. Let's make the holiday really memorable for each and every one of them. All right, I'll get the clowns on the horn right away. Mm -hmm. Why clowns? They're creepy. Let's ask the children to write how they themselves imagine it to be. And then, based That's on that... That's cheap populism. I can just imagine what they will write about. Arkady Ivanovich, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Uh, I'd like to have a word with you. Yes, of course. Let's go to my office, uh, shall no we? No need. I think that's all right. Uh, there are no secrets between us, right? We could do it right here. Sure, all right. Have a seat, sir. That's fine. I'll stand. No problem. Uh, you know, as a representative of the Parents Committee, uh, I'm entitled to ask you to demand, uh, as a matter of fact, with all due respect, here it is, that you suspend Believa from working with our children, sir. Really? How curious. Hmm. Read it. On what grounds are you basing all this? We believe that a criminal's wife has no right to work with our children in any fashion. Has Anna's husband been found guilty? I've yet to hear a verdict. Well, as for Believa, uh, this is the opinion of the whole parents' committee. That is all of it. Frankly speaking, we expect you to take it into consideration. Fedor Fedorovich, right? Yes. Dear Fedor, believe me, I'm very sorry about your loss. It's horrific. But I cannot fire a teacher, mind you, one of the best, only because her husband is, is under an ongoing investigation. I think it's wrong. It's improper. All right. That's a pity. In that case, we'll go to the school district. I think they'll listen more closely to us over there. That's your decision. Uh, uh, hold on a minute, please. I totally understand the legitimate concerns of the parents. Arkady Ivanovich, uh, all members of the collective have also discussed the situation. We all support Anna. Many even signed a petition for her husband uh, in support of him. However, we believe that it would be better for the reputation of the school if Believa took some time off. 
until the circumstances become clear. If that's the case, if everybody wants it, I can leave Sit right now. Sit down immediately. Sit down. Sit down. Look. Why are you attacking her, huh? What is her fault? Tell me. Why aren't you thinking about how she and her children are feeling these days, huh? Why are you stabbing her square in the back? What kind of people are you, really? What kind of people are you, after all? <gasps> oh, 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 uh, uh, uh. Ooh, did Arkady Ivanovich smoke? No, he didn't smoke. He never did. Although lately, he might have had to. He shouldn't have. It's unfortunate. I told him, don't smoke, Arkady Ivanovich, but he didn't listen. That's right. The cigarettes are to blame for everything, of course. Uh-huh. Yeah, this all makes perfect sense. You and your husband are to blame here, right? Listen, what are you even saying? My goodness. You know what, Fedor? Don't take my words too harshly, but you really need to see a psychologist. You'd better think about yourself. I told you already, I'll say it again. Get out of here. Leave this town immediately. You have no place here anymore. So it was you who put the letter in my mailbox? Oh my god. How did I fail to realize it was you? I what? What letter do you mean? Just don't accuse me of writing some letters. I didn't write anything to anyone. You know what? Even without me, you have a lot of well-wishers here. That's a fact. Therefore, you know what? This is my friendly advice for you. Don't push your luck. Leave this town right now. Take your family with you. Anna, I suggest you do some thinking and draw some conclusions from this tragedy. You know what? Arkady Ivanovich didn't want me to leave, and I'm not going anywhere. And you won't be able to make me. I know exactly what you think about me, but the children love me. And I will stay here and work for the children. And I will prove you all wrong one day. Well then, that is your prerogative. Nikolai, I received your letter, but I, I... I didn't understand anything. Yes, but the thing is, we've already signed the pre-agreement. Hello there. Nikolai, I'll come to you right now, and we'll discuss everything in person, all right? Mm. Hello? 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 Why haven't you called me in a while? Hello. I'm sorry, but I got really buried with work. Our contract's going to slip away. Oh, uh, did you call your father? Is there any news yet? Not yet, Natasha, no. He says that he's seeking out approaches. What's wrong with you, Arthur? Uh, have a seat. We need to talk. Oh, are you going to say something terrible to me? Uh, no, I just want your advice, that's all. Well, all right. Y you see, they're sending me... For an internship in London, uh, oh, there'd be great connections for me, old acquaintances. And I'm thinking about uh, what I should do. Why are you thinking? It's amazing. Of course you need to go without question, Arthur. Yes, Natasha, but the flight is the day after tomorrow, and it's for three months. Oh, but what about our wedding, though? That's what I'm talking about. I can't leave you when you have this terrible situation in your family. No, it's my situation and I will deal with it. Don't worry about me. I've got enough strength for that. And the internship is a very good uh, chance for all of us, actually. All right, you come for one day for the wedding and then you'll resume your internship. Natasha, wait a sec. What about the preparation? Listen, 
Why don't we just postpone the wedding until the new year? Well, if you think that it would be better... Of course it'll be better, Natasha. And everything about your dad will be solved by that time. What? Oh, I see it now. Of course I get it. You need to make sure that my father is not a maniac. Wait, Natasha, that's not what I meant. What did you... I meant that it's not right to celebrate the wedding without your father there. I'm so sorry, Arthur. The wedding without my dad is somehow... Well, all right. And winter is so beautiful that time of year. Mm -hmm. Listen, I bought tickets to the movies today. Can we go? Yeah, that'd be cool. But let's meet right there, all right? I've got some business left for today. Sure, sounds good. I'll get going. Mm -hmm. Hey! Uh, what are you doing? Uh, Stop it! Stop uh, kicking him! He attacked us first! Shut your mouth! That's enough! How are you feeling? Does it hurt to walk? No, it's fine. You're bleeding. Now wait a minute. Did you really attack them first? Yeah. Is it because they said something about your father? Talk to me, mm -hmm. Nikita. What did you get out of doing that? Nothing. Here, wipe it. It's gotten bad. Talk to me about something. What'd you talk with Max about after I left? Well, Max said that we need a new bassist if we want to be successful in this business. What did you say to him? He said that we're not leaving our friends behind, and that we're not replacing anyone. Strong. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> you can inscribe a circle into any rhombus as the sums of Opposite sides of a rhombus are equal. Tell me. Who knows how to calculate the radius of a circle? All right, I'll say it then. There are several ways to. One way is to... Petrov, where are you going? Guys, what's wrong with Petra? Guys, why are you doing this to me? Are you bored, Belyev? I brought you a friend. I hope you'll get along well. Volodya. Kirill. Help me, someone! He's killing me! Enough! Lock him in the cell. I lifted up Arkady Ivanovich, and he looked at me and said, Aleftina, take care of the school. I think it would be appropriate to name our school after the beloved Arkady Ivanovich. That's a wonderful idea. I agree wholeheartedly. I'll plead before the school district. Anna, explain something to me. Why are your students leaving the school? You canceled the class? I understand they were all in deep grief, but Arkady wouldn't have approved of it. I've brought you my letter of resignation. Everything's as you wanted it. 
My dear, why get all worked up? No one wants your resignation. Why don't you take a leave at your expense? You'll settle down and have some rest. And then, if God wants it, you'll be back here. The children love you so much. I don't think that's right at all. I think we have to get Anna back as soon as possible. Should I run and call There's after no her? There's no need to run after her. Anna actually cares about the pristine reputation of our school. That is why she made this choice. daughter. Who's Belia, baby? A maniac. Are you serious? You got a problem with me? Problems are what your father has. Hello, Arthur. Where are you? Oh, damn. The movies. I'm sorry, honey. I totally forgot. Too many things to do before I leave town. No. I just can't get to it. Yeah, yeah, it happens. Sorry, but I can't talk anymore. So? I've thought it through like a man. Are you happy now? Hey, Natasha, what's up? Hello. How's your father? Nothing's changed. Why is your makeup smeared all over? Have you been crying? I haven't been crying, man. I'm doing just great. Oh, I can see that. You had a fight with your groom. Tell me if he offended you, I'll deal with him. There's no one to deal with. Listen, why don't we go for a ride, huh? I promise to take you anywhere you need, safe and sound afterwards. You wanna hit it? Nikita, did they beat the sense of rhythm out of you or what? Why are you picking on me? I played all right. I stumbled a couple of You're times, totally but- You're totally failing. Don't come if you can't concentrate or let's cancel the rehearsals. We're not counting on anything in the near future anyway. Why are you bitching so much? Stop acting like the leader. Watch your own playing. That's it already. Enough aggression. It's just pouring out. It's not my fault that your father suspected of being a maniac. What did you just say? Suspected. You heard me. Do you know the meaning of the word? <laughs> And she's giving me a B for Stravinsky. Can you imagine? A B? Who does she think she is? Straka, this is not my fault. It was just an accident. Stay away from me. <laughs> 